everybody. For today's video, I'm going to be making some Pokemon out of clay. I've got a couple of Pokemons to pick from, and I've got a limited amount of colors of clay because we've been using it a lot because it's so fun and it's not like regular clay that you have to bake. This is air dry clay. So super easy, not messy, and just great. So out of all of these colors, I'm going to be picking three Pokemon to make. Jigglypuff, Charmander, and Piplup. I thought they would fit really good with the colors I have. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite Pokemon. Mine is Psyduck. So let's get started. First, we'll start off by mixing our pink, and I used some hot pink and white and a little bit of yellow to make this color. And we're gonna form the arms, the legs, and the ears, as well as the little swirl on her face. I made her a little more flat than I wanted to, <laughs> but that's okay. So here I'm just putting all the pieces together as well as making the eyes. So for that I use a little bit of white, form into balls, and then I squish them a little bit as well as some blue, some black for her mouth, cute little smile, and a little bit of black for the ears, which I formed into triangles. First one is now complete. It looks a little funny, <laughs> but I tried my best. Cause it's hard to use my left hand because I had a, a little oopsie, but I think she's cute. She's a little funny looking, but still cute. What do you think? Now let's move on to the next one. It's Piplup's turn. So for Piplup, I already had the blue I needed. So I started forming the head and the body. For the arms, I made some circles. which I formed into like an almond shape. So I start putting everything together. It dries very quickly, so I had to work very fast. Here I'm making the white circles that go under the collar. And I used a dark blue as close as the reference image as I could. What would you make out of clay? Let me know in the comments down below. And now I'm making the dark blue that's on his head right above his eyes and the back part. For his feet and beak, I used a little bit of a mix of a yellow and orange. And lastly, for the eyes, I used some black and white formed into ovals. Here is Piplup. He looks a little rough. <laughs> I feel like all of them will. What do you think? He's so cute. And I added his little tail on the back. Which one's your favorite so far? My favorite so far is definitely Piplup. Now let's move on to the next one. Last Pokemon, Charmander. So for Charmander, I formed his head first, then the body, and I kind of separated the clay a bit, so I had enough for the arms and the feet and the tail, because I only had a little bit of orange left. So here I'm just attaching all the pieces to his body, and now the tail. The tail is curved up a bit. I mixed some red, orange, and yellow for the flames that go attached to his tail. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of red for his mouth. Some black formed into oval shapes for his eyes. A little bit of blue, and that's gonna go around his eye. Some white for the highlight on his eye some more white for the teeth and for the claws. Then some yellow for the belly, of course. Just finished Charmander. His head is a little flat. I'm not sure if I should give him a birthday hat. I think I might, but what do you think? So I ended up giving him a birthday hat. I think he looks a lot better this way. His head is a little squished. And here are all three of them completed. Which one's your favorite? Mine is definitely Piplup. Thank you 
you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I thought I'd show you guys some of the clay sculptures me and my boyfriend did.